This man was head of the command group and was known as the Vulture. Schwartz team commander, Dominic Zuboff, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron. He fled after the final battle in order to avoid prosecution for various war crimes. He is still on the run and being hunted as an escaped killer. Sorry about the accommodations. It goes with the business. I'm not active during the day. Back then, I was a shadow assassin, an escapee killer. Given the order, I'd even shoot down my own comrades. I received an order to take down a deserting craft on that day. It was a typical assignment. But something unexpected happened. My target was no new recruit, but a top ace of the Belkin Air Force. He just had to go and run straight into the chaos at the round table. The man was sharp, just like the rumors. But that wasn't the problem. The problem was that the mercenary team of Solo Wing and him were there. Thanks to them, I lost my target. I figured the least I could do was take them down and return. Of course, that was where my luck ran out. Shni Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 22nd Air Division, 4th Tactical Fighter Squadron, Eric Hillenbrand. He never had great ambitions. All he ever hoped for was to make a living as a regular pilot. Today he works as a flight instructor for civilian pilots. They instantly shot me. They pulled the lever. <laughs> I barely managed to escape from my plane as it burst into flames. After drifting from the blast, I landed below the round table. It was a wide open and barren wasteland. How long would I have to wait for a rescue party? Radio interference within the round table was fierce. The odds of a distress signal actually reaching anyone was low. I was at a loss for what to do. Anyway, I'd really gone out with a bang this time. I took that as a sign it was time for me to retire. Just then, I heard a roaring overhead. It was his plane. I was jealous of his calm flying form. Rather than wait for the rescue team, I began to walk toward the nearest base. I was driven by desire to get back up there and fight him again. Of course, it did take me three days to get there. Silver Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force. 51st Air Division, 126th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Dietrich Kellerman. He was once the top ace at Belka and a fiery instructor at the Air Force Academy. In 1995, the Belkin Air Force sent him to the front lines to bolster troop morale. He was good. From what I'd heard about him, I thought he was still just a young mercenary. But he matured since then. He still wasn't perfect, but I could see he had come a long way towards understanding the rules of combat. What's important on the battlefield is to let go of hate, to survive, and to adhere to the rules you've set for yourself. These are the rules I've taught my students. And when I saw him, I could tell my time was done. A new generation had inherited the sky. There was no more need for an old soldier like me. 